it's here. That's a big box. The day has come. Welcome back to the channel, guys. So, we finally got my saddleman seat in. It came in a nicely packaged box. We're gonna open this up, see what it looks like. Gotta be really careful here because I don't wanna cut into anything. Nice and light, just to cut the tape. <coughs> Let's see what this bad Larry looks like. Let me show you how the packaging, how it's packaged. This is straight from Saddleman. Out in California, I live in Massachusetts. Cross country, this thing made a trip across country. Ooh, starting to see it. Very well packaged. Here, let me show you. I think they form this foam to the seat. <laughs> Very well protected seat. Top and bottom. Let me put this back over here. That's looking really sweet. All righty. Can you see it through the bag? Ooh. Here, let me remove the bag. I don't want to ruin the bag because I like to keep the bag. So in case I don't use it, I can store it. Just like my other seats. See this here. Here it's talking about how to install it. Installation instructions. Limited warranty. Really cool. It's got some instructions. Not that you really need instructions on how to install this, but let me show you the final result here. Wicked cool. All right, so this is my initial thoughts here. First thoughts of the seat. One, it smells really nice for some reason. I love the stitching. It seems like it's done really well. They call it the lattice stitch. A lot of people will call it diamond stitching. Like the curves are all nicely done. Oh. The bottom is done in the fabric, like a... It almost feels like a carpet. That's really cool. 
got to remove this tab here flip it counterclockwise it's got a little rubber grommet here I'm assuming that goes on the seat on the fender rather it's got more rubber grommets here to help protect the fender it doesn't have any up front though and I can't tell what this is made out of my uh, and the brown goes continues underneath to the back I don't know if you can see that see how the brown continues underneath it's riveted in so it doesn't the staples don't pull out I think it's a really cool seat um, I'll tell you right off the back it feels really firm um, they do say there's a four hundred mile break-in period I can see that's puffy here right here I don't know if you can tell that on camera but it's flat here and then it puffs out here and then the rest of it's puffy and I'm wondering if that's like the gel pad because they do use gel pads in here but they say it's a really comfortable seat once it breaks in um, we'll give it a try I'll tell you um, yeah, I, I, I did order it this way. I just thought the brown was going to be more brown, more on the reddish, reddish, redder, reddish, reddish side. Um, this is like a, like a Hershey brown, milk chocolate, milk chocolatey brown. The black looks like a flat black, matte, no, yeah, a flat black, maybe a little sheen. The whole seat has a little sheen to it. But yeah, we'll go see what it looks like on the bike. All right guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be putting on the new Saddleman seat. It was a custom order from Saddleman. I called them directly and this is what it, how it came out. As compared to my Mustang Solo Wide Tripper seat, I kind of wish that this had more of a reddish tone, kind of like that one does. But I think it's going to look good on the bike. So let's get this installed going. First thing you're going to do is get a, yourself a 5/30 seconds Allen wrench. You're going to remove these two bolts <clears throat> and rotate it just like it's noted on the tag here. Let's get that going. <laughs> So far, this seat looks really cool. Looks like it's, got, it's high quality. It also comes with a little rubber tab. I'm gonna get some Loctite. Now I'm gonna put some Loctite on the threads because I'm sure I'm not the only one that's had parts fall off the bike. Just a little bit. A little bit of Loctite, just for safety measures. Because I have had parts fall off the bike. And we don't want to lose the seat. There's the Mustang seat, and here's me sitting on it. Just to give you a little comparison of what it looks like. This is the Mustang Solo Wide Tripper seat. Really comfortable. I like the feel of it, how I sit in it. Everything seems to be sticking with you. I don't know why, I don't like it. Okay. little tab here, I don't know if you can see that there, that little tab goes <clears throat> right underneath, a little lip right in here behind the gas tank, a 
Hopefully. There it is. Now I'm going to install the little rubber grommet that came with the seat. I'm going to put that in between the seat and the tab. Screw it down. That didn't take much effort. But that's what the seat looks like on the bike. What do you guys think? So now, this is my first time sitting on the seat. I'm checking for clearance underneath here because if you read the instructions, it actually tells you to get um, a kit number or something, I don't know like a plastic film to cover this just in case it hits it so that it doesn't scuff up the uh, the paint like the factory seat did and I think it's gonna hit back here everything seems to have a little bit of clearance except for right around the bend here and the battery cover so moment of truth here we go oh boy <laughs> it's definitely taller It's not that bad. I thought it was going to put me a little bit more forward than I wanted to. I am not as strapped. It's definitely a higher seat. Let me, oh, I should have taken measurements. I'm going to take measurements right now. This is the bike on the kickstand level. Let me see with my tape measure. With the bike on the kickstand, Right at the crease, we are at 25 and a half inches, and that's on the kickstand side with the bike on the kickstand. Now I'm gonna take this seat back off and put my Mustang seat back on. And uh, we'll go back from there again. And let me see, so 25 and a half, and that's right in front of the paint, the passenger paint. Let's swap it out again. I can't believe my kick chips over here. I'm gonna just touch it up and leave it as is. What did I say? It was 25 and a half, I forget. So, right in front of the thing again, we're going to go from here up. It's at 24 and three quarters. So, even though that seat looks a lot thicker, it's not that much higher than the Mustang seat. I wish I could take it out for a ride, but it's still raining. All right, we're gonna go for just a quick ride around the area to test out that sink. As you can tell, the roads are wet. We're gonna be checking out the new windshield. See if uh, how distorted. I know there's a weird distortion right here because there's a bend, but uh, see how that comes out on the camera. Oh, the roads are drying up, so that's good. Everybody's like, oh, 
with the saddle mid seat. It really sucks in the beginning until it breaks in. I mean, granted, I haven't gone very far. I've probably only done 10 miles on the seat. Ten miles? No, I doubt it. But yeah, dude, that, that feels really good. I feel like there's hands holding my butt there. There's no salt on the tires, but I saw this earlier today. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but there's sand in there. Now it's from the last ride, guaranteed. I gotta get in there and clean that off because look right in here too. I don't want that stuff. Or, man, that seat looks makes the bike look sexy. That's a sexy looking seat, man. How cool is that, man? I love that windshield. I don't love it. I like it. All right. just swapped out the battery <clears throat> well so this is the end last ride of the decade right decade yes so I'm glad I got to do I think a pretty cool mod not really a mod but whatever an upgrade and um, it really it really feels good so we're ending the 2019 with a seat and a clear windshield. This was an Amazon brand. Um, this is a CBC fairing. Um, the original windshield was dark, really dark. I couldn't see out of it. So I cut it down. Now I got a clear one. And I got this one off of Amazon. I think it's like a crater brand. It looks the same, feels the same. The holes didn't quite, quite line up. I had to, uh, Bend the brackets a little, but I got it on there. It looks good. I was gonna tint it, but I think I'm gonna leave it now. So that's how the bike is ending in 2019. And there's more coming for 2020. Getting a phone call. The roads are all wet. So I know I haven't mentioned this before, but this seat was free. It was from Fab 28. They had the Black Friday deal that extended into Cyber Monday. Yeah, so this seat was free. <clears throat> Fab 28 had a Cyber uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday deal. You get an exhaust system, you get to pick a seat, a tuner, or a, a Bluetooth communicator. I went with another with a seat instead. Uh, I'm really happy that I did because uh, I, I I love it. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like it's cupping my butt. And uh, so with this seat being free, just know that my opinions right now, my thoughts, my feelings, it's coming from me. It's not coming because I bought it and I'm making excuses to like it. This seat was free, like I said. Awesome seat, I really like it. And uh, everybody talks about that break-in period. Um, I, I don't feel... It, 
You know, they, they say that there's a uh, 400 mile break-in period, or well, three to five, I guess, depending. Um, I don't know if it's because of my weight. I'm, I'm in a, I'm two, 235, 240. So it immediately felt soft when I sat on it. And everybody else that I've seen do the reviews, um, <clears throat> they're all about, I'd say 190, 200 pounds maybe. So I don't know if that makes a difference. I'm sure it, I'm sure it does. So I'm almost, I'm 5'11", five, 235. And this seat feels awesome. My bike has the forward controls. I got a, still got a band in my knee. And uh, like I said, the seat was free, so I'm not like making excuses to love the seat. Because when I, I was always thinking in the back of my mind, I have three other seats. I was always thinking, if I don't like this seat, it's gone. I'm going to sell it. It's a saddleman. I'll sell it no problem. So, I don't think I'm going to sell it. As a matter of fact, I know I'm not going to sell it. I'm definitely not going to sell my Mustang seat either. I do have a Badlander seat and a Sundowner seat. Um, I don't know if the Badlander seat I'll sell either because this bike was a custom order and that Badlander seat was part of it. So this is a Street Bob Custom. That's why I don't have the Mini Apes, I got the Fat Bob bars. Um, oh yeah, I don't think that bad laner seat's gonna go anywhere. The sundowner seat, I, I feel like I have no use for anymore. I mean, I only took it out once, to be honest with you. It, it's it's a big seat. It's a really comfortable sofa. I call it a sofa seat because it, 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 it's it's what it is. It's a sofa. You're sitting on it. You feel like you're sitting on a sofa. Um, that, that was not bad. I mean, if you guys want me to do a review on that, let me know. But uh, I'm definitely going to compare seats in future reviews. But this, this Saddleman seat is not going anywhere. It's a custom order also, can you tell? I ordered it with the brown rider seat and the black passenger seat with black lattice stitching I should have done the brown logos but I didn't realize that was an option I realized that afterwards so it is what it is I might get some dye and dye the, the, the stitching I might, might not I don't want to ruin the seat so yeah this is my test ride. It's not a real review. It's a test ride on the Saddleman seat. And so far, I'm loving it. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for future content. And I hope you all have a great new year. I'll see you guys next year. Beep.